First of all, I think there's always space to improve. There's always possibility of improving any, any team. We try to do it as well, but uh, as you told, as you told uh, now, um, I don't think we did a bad job in the summer, so I don't think that we should do a lot of changes now, uh, now in the winter. I'm uh, reasonably satisfied with what we did, but as I told you, there's always space to be better and to improve more, but uh, we did what we could according to the circumstances and we did what we could according to what we thought there were, was the needs of the team. So we lost two important players, Kalinic and Simic. We lost some other players as well that had less minutes in, uh, in the A team. They had probably more minutes with the, with the B team. And in this case, we decided that regarding Kalinic, we first looked inside, so we brought Letica back from, uh, from the loan. And we believe that Letica, Grbic and Stipica would be enough for our, uh, for our requirements. And in the case of Simic, first option was still before Simic left to bring Bosancic back from the loan because he played almost every game in this first half of the season in second league. But also then when Simic left, we decided that we wanted one, one experienced player, one player that could bring us to an upper level. And so that's why we got Terziev, which is a player with national team experience, with the Champions League experience, with Europa League experience. It's a player that if we want to be in on those competitions, we, ha we have to have players that are experienced in those competitions. So we can give this example to the young players that we have. And we hope that he can fulfill the requirements on which we, we brought him. Uh, I told you also, uh, in the summer when I came, I had very little time. So um, our main uh, focus was the A-team. So we made, as I told you, a lot of changes in the A-team. And we kept the B-team more or less the same as it was in the previous year. Now in the winter, we changed a little bit the, the status. We thought that the A-team was more or less controlled in terms of uh, number of players, uh, competitiveness in the sectors, quality within the sector, so we try to bring a little bit of new blood for the B team because I think I told you also before, my plan you know, or my future hide could be a, a A team with less players, 20 plus three goalkeepers, and then with four or five players from the B team that all the time would be within A and B. This is, would be the, the, the future plan. And this is what we tried a little bit now, not to bring a lot of players to the A team, bring more players to the B team, try to develop them, and for them to push always to enter in, uh, in the A team. I think also it was important that uh, coming a little bit back, uh, our, my, my, what I think it's our big success in this transfer window was to fulfill two, two obligations that we had. First one was to sell a minimum amount that uh, the club would, uh, would need in order to keep on being competi competitive financially in the, in the next few, few months. So the president and the board established one, uh, one goal, one bracket. We had to sell a certain amount and we sold this amount and this will make us be able to fulfill all commitments in a month by month basis until the end of the season. And this will also uh, probably give us a chance of uh, having some extra budget if we want to invest in some players in, uh, in the summer. This I think was the first objective that, uh, that we had and we fulfilled in this transfer window. The second one was not to lose our uh, dorsal spine. So we were able to sign new contracts with Nijic, with Tomabashic, with Ohanza, important players that we didn't want to lose. We also extended with Juranovic, we extended before with Ismaili, and we are also on the edge of extending one or two more contracts with, uh, with young players in, in the squad. The main thing is prepare the team because we know that uh, we are a sellable club. We, are, we, have a, we have a pedigree of sales which is important in, in Croatia and in Europe, and we have to be prepared for that. But main thing is to have a dorsal spine, a bone of the team that can hold when one or other pieces of the puzzle goes, goes out. This is the main thing. We have decision about extending with Kvesic, Memola, Futic. We know that we have to take these decisions. When I took these players, as I explained to you in, in, the, in that moment, we took in order to understand if they would fit in our project, if they would good enough for Hajduk, and if Hajduk is good enough for them, so there has to be a two-ways two ways relationship. 
And now we will take the decisions. Uh, we'll see how the how the season is going. The second part of the season is going to start. And between March and April, we have uh, time to take the decisions according also what's going to be the plan for for next season. So this is this is not a problem. It's something normal, something we have to be used to. We have to take these decisions now, like we have to take decisions in the summer regarding extending or releasing some other players. Okay. Football is all about decisions. My job is all about decisions, and I will take them the best way I can and according to, to facts. We always have to choose quality. We have also to improve our quality standards. This is the thing we want to do. If, as I told you, players are from Hajduk Academy, are Croatian players, better. But they need to have quality. If they don't have quality, then we probably have to go to other markets. I would be the most happy man in the world if we could play only with uh, Croatian players developing the Hajduk Academy, but th this is not possible. This is not possible. I would be very happy if I could have bring a central defender with Croatian nationality, but this was not possible. So we brought a player that we thought could give us a little bit of experience and of quality that we lack in, uh, in, in that sector. So the decision is always has to be about quality, always has to be about which player is the best player in order to fulfill its obligations with Hajduk Split. Uh, it's true that Terziev since almost the beginning was, was an option for us, but it was a difficult option by that time. Because as you understand, Ludogorets has uh, four, it had four central defenders, only one Bulgarian, which was, which, which was Terziev. They have one, uh, one Romanian, one uh, Argentinian and one Ukrainian. And when we checked more or less uh, some possibilities, Terziev was always on our, on our table. But I will not lie to you, my main concern was to bring a player that wouldn't be alone. I wanted to bring a player in definitive terms, to be a Hajduk player for now and for the future. But market states these conditions. We, uh, of course, sometimes cannot compete with some, other, with some other clubs. So we decided that between some players that could come on a definitive basis, Compared with Terziev, I think the best choice was Terziev because he can give us something now, immediately. And then we can see if both sides fit for the future. And if both sides fit for the future, we can easily um, take the buying option and Terziev can stay with us for, for a long time. He's still 1992, European passport, I national team player with, uh, with Bulgaria. Now Bulgaria has a new national team coach and they have... Uh, an official game next Monday between the A team and the under 21 and Terziev was called up and I asked the national team coach not to take him now because we need him here to, to adapt as soon as possible for the team. But I believe that if he performs well here he can be with the national team of Bulgaria next March in the FIFA fixture. Preparation games do not uh, uh, help us to add points. So for me it's not a problem to win or to lose all the preparation games. Preparation is that. I, I always say that we, ne we need to make the mistakes in preparation. Fortunately, we did very little mistakes during this preparation. All the four games that we did were, were rather, rather okay, even with the changes that we had in the team. I'm satisfied, but main focus is the game on Sunday against Split. This will be our, our, first, our first task, this will be our first test. That's what I'm worried about. Preparation was good. I think that the team understood very well which is the, the coach's philosophy. Every coach has his way of working, every coach has his way of playing. As you know, we change a little bit the system because this coach thinks that uh, the characteristics of our players tend to be better to play with the two, two offensive players, two, two strikers. And in this case, the team very quickly adjusted to this, to this system. The system in preparation worked work out very well, but we will see in the, in the games. And game is against Split, and uh, unfortunately for us, our memories regarding the games with Split are not good because last game was uh, very disappointing for us when we played there for the quarterfinal of the Croatian Cup. So we have to be really, really focused, really concentrated, and really in our best moment in order to beat Arenka Split. If we played 4 4 2, uh, 4 2 3 1, and 4 3 3, probably Winger would be a position that we would try to, to bring during this transfer window. As we change a little bit this system, and we, ha and we have, as you very well put, Erzeg and, uh, and Tudor, we didn't bring anyone to those positions. But as you see, Erzeg is playing one of the two men up front, and Tudor is playing sometimes behind. So they are really adapted to the system. Uh, all the games that uh, Tudor and Erzeg played also in preparation, they did, they did very well. So 
I don't think they are behind. I think they are valid options and they can be starting 11 players next Sunday against Split. If you ask me, today's team would be enough to go to European uh, competitions, I would say that uh, we, are, we would be very competitive if we go to European competitions. But I cannot uh, promise you that the team will be this one in the, in the summer, because for sure, for sure, players will leave, for sure, players will, will enter. But what I, can, what I can guarantee you is that if I am here, I will have a competitive team in the summer. This year we were also competitive. We were, as, it, as you know, one penalty away of entering the group stage, even if performances were not outstanding, but we were almost there. So I believe that next year we can be there. It's difficult to compare. We lost important players. We lost one A national team player like uh, Kalinic. We lost Tino Šušić as well. We lost Milic. It's, different, it's a different team. We had more individualities in the past and we have maybe better team now. And it was also very important to me when I came because I needed some time to adapt and I needed someone that knew the reality of the club better than me. And I only have good words regarding Marin Pushnik. As I told you before, each coach has his own philosophy and Carillo has a philosophy that uh, we have to control the matches, we have to have possession, we have to have good performance in order to achieve a win. If you ask me, I'm much more pragmatic. I prefer to win first and to play better, play, play good football after. I am like that by, by default. Carrillo wants to assemble the two things. I believe that will be a dominating team in 90% of the matches. I think the uh, team has to be prepared to control, has to be prepared to be leader, has to be prepared to be a big team like Hajduk Split always had. And I think this is what Carrillo mainly is, is uh, transmitting to, to the players. That we need to take our responsibilities, we need to understand which shirt are we dressing, which logo are we carrying on the chest. And if we are a Hajduk Split, we have to, be, we have to be, keep the standards of Hajduk Split. So we have to be dominating, we have to play well, and bottom line, we have to win. I think that uh, Carrillo very quickly understood what is the DNA of the club. And he wants to put this DNA in the pitch in every 90, 93, 94 minutes. Game only, only ends when the referee whistles. I think it will be a complicated game. We have some players that are out for, for suspension and for, uh, also for injury. So our midfield doesn't have so many options like we would like, would like to have. It's always a city derby, so even if you think that one team is better than the other, uh, one team is in the better moment, the other is in the worst moment, this in derbies that doesn't count. So really to have to be very focused if we want to, to win the match. But of course, I expect us to win. There is no other way for us in every match than to expect to win. I've learned very quickly here in this club that the only important thing is to win next match. Fourth position is not our position. Like third is not our position. We always, have, we always want and have to be top. With these points last year, we would be in a better position than fourth, but league is different from last year. This year we have another team that is within the normal three, three places in the, in the standings, so we need to focus on each game, focus on each three points, and then in the end of the season we will make the calculation and we will see which place we will end up in. But fourth place is not our place, and as I told you before, and I will Confirm now, if we finish fourth, it will be a personal failure. I will take it as a personal failure. Besides the sales pedigree that Hajduk already has, it's also important as a visiting card that our players perform when they go to other, to other, uh, to other teams. For me, it was, I was very happy for Lovre because he had, a, he had a mistake, which is normal. Because, as you understand, when goalkeepers make a mistake, normally it's a mistake that, that marks. Yeah. And he had a, a slight mistake against Jupen, and then his answer was from a great goalkeeper and a great person that he played a huge game against Tottenham and, Tottenham and, and get beaten 1-0. So I'm really, really happy for, for, for him personally, as, as, a, as a person and as a player and as a former Hajduk captain. But also for the club, in general terms, it's very important for the players to to, to develop and to perform well after they, they leave Hajduk because this will create 
besides this selling pedigree, degree, also a, vi a very good visiting card. And uh, for us, that we need to sell in order to, to progress, to, live, to develop in bottom line for the club to be, to be on, um, on a balanced uh, budget sheet, it's, it's very important that, uh, that the players. I always believe that uh, if, you, if you are a player and you don't have competition inside the squad, you relax. And when we relax, all of us in our job, we tend to not to fulfill our obligations the best way we can. If we are pushed, if we are pressured to do better, the team will always, always profit on that. So it's not about Tersiev, Chosic, yes. Bosancic, Nijic or Ismaili. It's about competition, competition inside one sector, which is very important of the team, which, is, which are central defenders. Like you have competition with the go in the goal, you have competition in almost every sector. You can say, even right back, you only have Juranovic. No, we decided that you have Juranovic and Ismaili that can perform the duties, and then we still have four central defenders. Nisic, Chosic, Terziev and Bosancic. So we have to balance the squad. Yes. Two players for each sector. As I think you agree with me, we have an exceed of quality because I don't see any other team in Croatia that has three strikers like Futac, Said or Hansa at the disposal of the coach. So this Nobody. is why... No, no team in Croatia. I think no team in Croatia can, uh, can say that they have three strikers with this level at the disposal of the coach. And this is something that we need to use in our benefit, of course. Competition is always important for the team. If the player doesn't like competition, he doesn't like to be pressured to work better, he's not the right player for us. I, I prefer to, uh, that Carrillo has headaches because he has a lot of choices. Then Carrillo to have headaches like now against Split that he has very little uh, options in midfield. Next game, hopefully, when Jefferson, uh, probably Kojul, uh, Tomobashic will return from injury or from suspension. He has everyone available. These are the good headaches. I will be on the safe side because my job is done and he has good headaches because he has a good squad to where to choose 11. And then you will have to decide because he's the coach who will be the, the starting ones. We work according performance. So if you make a good job, we had a job. If we don't make a good job, we don't have a job. It's like me, like the coach, like the players. We have to be used to this pressure because if you don't, if you don't like and if you're not used to, play, to work with this pressure, it's better for you to choose another, another job. I believe that, uh, okay, Mr. Carillo made two games here with us last, uh, in, uh, last December. One game against Sibalia, which was a strange game, not to, not to use another word. But against Dinamo, even that we didn't have two, three players, four, I think, suspended or, or injured, you saw a little bit the difference. We saw that we were tactically well. We didn't concede any major chances to Dinamo, and we were unlucky in minute 94 to concede the goal in that way. So we thought, I think you also saw a little improvement from Sibali to Dinamo. And now I believe that after the preparation period, after that the team easily assembled all this philosophy and these ideas regarding positioning, regarding possession, regarding the way how to act when we lose ball, when we have ball, behaviors that the team has to have in every moment of the game, from minute one to minute 93, 94 or 97. And this is, I think, our biggest goal. This is, I think, the biggest, the biggest achievement that Carillo made in these six weeks of preparation. But now we need to test it on the games and uh, I believe that the work that has been done in the last six weeks, as I told you, was very well done and that we will see uh, good results on the games.